I'm back with you guys' favorite Japanese artist, Fuji Kaze, and today I'm checking out this song, Shinu no Ga Iwa, um, live at Nippon Budok Kan. I don't know where that's at, but, but we're going to check it out. I, I feel like his live performances are 10 times better than his MVs. Let's just enjoy this. Let's enjoy it. <laughs> Bro, bro, this just made me more of a fan of him. He is nasty on the keys. He plays a piano like no other. You, he's playing the piano like his life depends on it right now. Like somebody got a gun towards his head and he like, and he cooked up the most beautiful masterpiece in the world. That's why I like him. And at the beginning, y'all saw me just moving and dancing. That's what his music does. Like you just feel so free and just, ah, ah, I don't know what it is. And then he trans that smooth transition into the hook in the beginning of Shinu no Gaiwa. This guy can't be matched. <laughs> he's, he's hands down probably one of the best Japanese artists in the world. love this guy i love his music uh, man i don't think there's a lot of artists that makes music as great as him like music that is so pure and beautiful bro and sad like when you listen to it i just feel like i'm gaining so much value from it and i love too he just mentioned he said i still make mistakes bro like i'm human like Fushikaze is so in tuned and tapped into his presence, his 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 identity, his his ego, everything, everything. He's so self aware that he almost too self aware, you know. And it's beautiful that he's taking all this knowledge and advice that he's learned along his spiritual journey and his faith, and he's sharing it with people just to enjoy. He's not shoving it down anybody's throat. He's not pointing fingers saying, you're bad because you don't believe in this. You're bad because you don't believe in this. He's saying, you know what? This is what I offer. This is myself. I'm going to share this with y'all. Y'all have the opportunity to do what you would like. If you like it, cool. If you don't, I don't care type stuff. Beautiful. <laughs> I'm gonna try not to pause it too much, but his lyrics are so beautiful that every every line needs to be broken down. You know what he just said? He said, bruh, 
Let me go back, because I forgot what he just said. That's what he said. He said, you don't know what you have until it's gone. Why? Why is that actually a thing? Why, as human beings, why do we not know what we have until it's gone? And it was there the whole time in front of us. Nothing has changed. Why do we choose when something is gone to then realize the importance, the value of that thing? A lot of the times it's relationships. It's people that once we lose somebody, a partner, we're like, man, that was the best person I've ever could experience, you know? And I think social media is making it worse, if I'm being honest, because now we feel like, okay, I have a good thing, I have a good person, but there's better, and I can get better. And then they go chase better and actually understand that it's it's not better. <laughs> the person they had was the best for them. You know, the things that they had was best for them, so... He looked like Johnny Somebody told me recently that he's 26. There's no way this man is 26 because he's living, he, he's sharing his experience as if he is 50 years old, literally. I feel like he's so mature. Uh, 26 is a great age to be mature. I think 25 is like when, when I guess your brain fully develops or something like that. I don't know the science behind that, but he's just so mature for his age. He has a lot of experience and a lot of knowledge, a lot of wisdom. I feel like he probably struggles in relationships a lot. And, I only, and not relationships with family, but in a partner. And I only say that because I feel like he's so self-aware. He's so mature that, honestly, I feel like there's a lot of women that don't want that. You know, a person who's very calm, peaceful, you know, knows himself, confident. Like, they, I would say this. Not that they don't want it, but we're, th those people, because I throw me in there. I, I'll put me in that category. Those people are considered boring. Women like guys that, like, aren't like that because they want some sort of something to just be excited by. Something like that. If I'm wrong, please comment, you know, what it is. But I, I truly do feel like those type of people are considered boring because they just, they know themselves. They're confident and they move in that spirit. So it takes a special person to see that and be like, I want that. And that relationship is beautiful once that happens. <laughs> Yeah, I think this this song has some of the most like complex and, and deeper meaning to it that every time I watch it, um, I feel like I learn something new. But at the same time, I feel like I'm, I really don't know at all. Um, I really want to know his uh, perspective and his reason behind making this song. I, I want to hear his thoughts. Um, so y'all need to subscribe so that I can meet him so I can have a sit down uh, to really understand understand and explain some of the, uh, his concepts and songs how dope would that be and y'all had the power to do that just by hitting that subscribe button so <laughs> do that